Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and in today's episode, we have Rosemary Lobasso. Rosemary, so lovely to have you on the show. Thank you. And Rosemary, how old are you? I'm eight years old. Eight years old, wow, and how long have you been playing the piano? I've been playing the piano for four years. Wow, who do you study with now? I study with Miss Tatiana Charpinskaya. Charpinskaya, is that how you say her name? Yes. Wow, what do you love most about working with Ms. Charpinskaya? That she's Russian. <laughs> Does she teach you any Russian words? Yes. Like what? Da and Privyet. Oh, very, very good. You know, I studied with a Russian teacher when I was eight years old. Her name was Eleanor Sokolov, and she was really, really tough. Is your teacher really, really tough? Yes, she's very strict. <laughs> Very strict. Does that scare you sometimes? No. No? Really? Why do you think it's good to have a teacher that's really, really strict? Because I can learn more. Wow. And you really love to learn to play the piano, don't you? Yes. And thanks to that, you've accomplished some amazing things. You've already played in Carnegie Hall, haven't you? Yes, I have. And where else, what's, what is the favorite place that you've played at? Um, Bryan Park. What was so great about that? I got to see a couple of plays. Wow. And there were also thousands of people that got to see you play. Yes. That was amazing. So you've accomplished so much. And by the way, we had a chance to work together this past summer, didn't we? We did. We were at the Philadelphia International Music Festival, where I teach uh, in the summers, and you were one of my students. Yes. What was the most fun of working together? Making a movie. <laughs> we made a silent movie together. It was so much fun. And she was one of the best actresses. And she improvised her own music. It was great. Can't wait to see you again, hopefully, at one of those festivals again. Me too. So one of the neat things about the show is the fact that we invite our guests to choose from a range of pianos. And uh, Rosemary, you selected this beautiful Estonia L210 Grand Piano. Why did you choose this piano? Because it sounded better and it's shiny in both the in how it looks and how it sounds. Now, what kind of a sound do you like to have when you're working with a piano? Um, like soft and bright, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can do all kinds of music on there. Wonderful, and I think you've made an excellent choice. This is one of my favorite pianos, too. So what are you going to play for us first? I'm going to play Bach in E major. Great! Let's hear your Bach in E major. Okay. Thank you. 
Rosemary, that was really, really beautiful. What do you think of when you play a piece like that? I think of polyphony and how Bach played. Whoa, polyphony, that's a big word. What does polyphony mean? Polyphony is two melodies. Or multiple melodies or voices playing at the same time. Well, it can, yeah, I, it's amazing that you understand what that means and it comes out so wonderfully in the way you play. What's the next piece that you'd like to play for us? I'm gonna play Nocturne in C minor. By who? By Chopin. Now tell us a little bit about this piece. What, how would you describe this piece? Sad. Oh, do you think of sad things when you play a sad piece like this? Yes. Can I ask you what kind of sad things you think about? My brother is moving to California. Boy, if I had somebody that I really, really love that's gonna be moving far away, I would be sad too. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, let's, let's hear the Chopin and okay. we'll see how sad we feel with you, okay? Wow, Rosemary, I can't believe you're just eight years old. You play this piece like you've been sad for a very, very long time. Thank you. <laughs> really, very beautiful. What are some other feelings that you like to think of when you play the piano? Um, melancholy or happy. Wow, those are very, very big words, but you've, I think you've expressed both of those. The box seemed like a wonderful, happy piece, and the Chopin was a great example of something that is filled with melancholy, yeah? Yes. Rosemary, I really enjoyed having you on the show. Thank you so much for playing and for sharing with us. You're welcome. And I wish you lots of success in your future. I think you're gonna have lots of it coming. Thank you. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new episodes. For The Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung, 
and we'll see you next time.